I'm outside the residence of Irene Boy's family home. This was supposed to be a temporary COVID-19 shelter, one of many for quarantine and to help with overcrowding in a remote northern Ontario First Nation. Yeah. But now these plywood walls, reinforced by blankets and two by fours, are a permanent family home. It doesn't feel good at all because I have two children that um, that I do worry about. Irene Boyce is one of 93 people in Yamatung First Nation waiting for a house. If we don't have the wood burning all the time, we it will get cold in there pretty quick. New Democrat MP Charlie Angus was contacted by the community for help. We could have, you know, fires in those tents. We could have children getting sick. And we He's now pressing the Indigenous Services Minister for immediate action. And this is happening under his watch. When is he going to actually say, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. We're going to do something. Mark Miller calls the situation unacceptable. We need to act more swiftly, on, or specifically on housing. The Grand Chief of the Territory, Nishnabiaski Nation, says Yamatung is not the only community struggling. I hope uh, you know, the federal officials, uh, even provincial officials, see uh, what is going on. And, and, and Alvin Fiddler uh, says all 49 First Nations he represents are grappling with overcrowding. These communities are growing and yet uh, the government has not uh, adjusted their their policies or their funding structures to meet that growing demand. In the meantime, people in Yabatung will stay in these makeshift shelters until the community and government find a lasting solution. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News, Ottawa.